about predicting COLL from OLL parity. So basically what we want to do is to be able to know which COLL case we will get immediately after doing the OLL parity out. So in this case, what I normally do is to try to determine the corner permutation first and how the parity out will affect it followed by the corner orientation which is the opposite the opposite order of how most people recognize COL but since we'll be doing most of the recognition during the OL parity out itself it doesn't matter as much so here the corner permutation is these two need to be swapped so if we do a if we do our parity out from this angle, these two corners will swap as well. So the resulting corner permutation will be a diagonal swap. And the corner orientation will be a pi case, I think. Yeah, it should be a pi case. So do the parity out. And then... Oh dear, I got it wrong. Uh, Alright, it's a diagonal swap. So do a zero and... So this is another case, which is, we recognize this as a T case with diagonal, diagonal swap corners, and the H to swap is here, H to flip is here, so this, these two corners will be swapped by the parity out, so after we perform the parity out, the resulting case will be these two corners need to be swapped and it's still a T case. So that one is F sexy move, then cancel into another OLL out. And then the perm. This is another case. Uh so these two corners, the corner permutations, these two need to be swapped. If we apply the OL parity out from here, the resulting corner permutation will be these two need to be swapped. And uh, the resulting orientation will be a U case. So this will be the bad UCOL, the one you can solve by doing a R prime Y perm R, I think. And then a U perm. And one last one. Uh, this one is a. This two need to swap, and the parity out will swap these two. So, the resulting corner orientation will be a U case. So this will be a two G L L. And yeah, that's it. Nothing special.